Inflammatory oil with sunflower oil, which is inflammatory, processed inflammatory oil, sunflower oil. Inflammatory, yes. That was one single video that those clips were taken from. This is a very common tactic when you have false claims that you've presented no evidence for, which by the way, the evidence shows the opposite of what he's saying, but to just keep repeating it over and over and over again until people just assume it must be fact because you're saying it so much. But in fact, I've presented the large body of evidence on this topic, and it is not true that these oils that he's claiming are inflammatory are actually inflammatory. You can go check out those videos. I've talked about it a lot. Other nutrition food accounts on here that are science-based have talked about it quite a bit as well. But he's literally just repeating these things over and over and over again. So the listener just assumes eventually, well, that must be fact because he's saying it so much. That is a tactic to promote pseudoscience, to sell products, and to promote misinformation. And that's exactly what he's doing. He uses this false claim in almost every single video. Let's take a look at how he does this for other ingredients as well. Natural flavors, that is BS. 11 grams of protein coming from GMO soy protein, sunflower oil and natural flavor, GMO whey protein and natural flavor. No cred So again, he's just repeating ingredients over and over again that he has told people are bad with no explanation and of course no evidence presented for those claims once again. He has demonstrated in other videos that he has no idea what GMOs even are, yet he's telling people they're bad and that they need to avoid them, which is absolutely not true. Same thing goes for flavors. He doesn't even understand what they are or why he's telling people to avoid them, but he just thinks they are scary because they are made up of hundreds of different chemicals, even though everything we consume is made up of chemicals. And I've talked about flavors quite a bit on my page as well, so you can go check out those videos, but just repeating this over and over and over again, um, people just tend to assume oh, that must mean they're bad because he keeps telling me not to eat these ingredients. But um, I just want to remind you that his background's in finance as well. He has no clue what he's talking about when it comes to food. So this is why he just needs to use these tactics because he doesn't actually understand the ingredients or have any evidence to back the claims that he's making. He does the same thing when he wants to promote something as well. Take a look. No cruddy oils, there's no natural flavors. In fact, red palm oil is the good version of palm oil. This is clean. Flavors like this one are clean. So now that he's convinced you that these specific ingredients are bad, he goes and finds the ones without these ingredients. So of course they are good and clean. So when he deems something clean, it's just based on his misunderstanding and misinformed opinions about food and food ingredients. And the red palm oil is clean, even though palm oil is high in saturated fat, which can actually be worse for heart health than unsaturated fats which he's calling inflammatory. It makes absolutely no sense.